I'm Evan Reinheimer. Today I'm going to show you how to make protective bags to transport your large 2D artwork in. Thanks for watching. The bags I'm going to show you how to make today are great for transporting and storing large 2D artwork in. I use them to transport my large photographs to and from art shows, but they work great for paintings, framed photographs, framed 2D mixed media pieces, any artwork that's pretty much flat. They're really nice protective bags and they're relatively cheap to make, so if you give one to a client when they purchase a piece off the wall, it won't cost you that much. And it's a nice way to give a client something protective to transport their artwork home in. Let's get started. The material that I make my bags out of is called Reflectix. It's this plastic bubble insulation. It's really durable, gives the artwork really good protection when it's made into a bag. It comes in a variety of different widths. I really like the 48 inch wide Reflectix. It gives me the most versatility in making different size bags. However, you can buy different widths of this and buy the one that works best for your work. I'm going to leave a link to the Reflectix in the description of this video, so make sure you check it out and buy it from there. The photograph that I'm going to be making a bag for today is this 20 by 60 print of my rainbow umbrellas. I cleared some room here on the deck so I have enough space to work with. First thing I'm going to do is roll out the Reflectix on the ground and measure the correct length. So because my photograph is 60 inches wide, I'm going to measure out 64 inches of Reflectix to cut. Once I have my 64 inch wide piece cut, it's time to start constructing the bag. Because the Reflectix I'm using is 48 inches wide, I'm going to fold it in half so that I have about 24 inches on both sides of the photograph to protect it. I always make the bottom of the bag the fold because that part of the bag endures the most stress and weight. So I want the strongest part of the bag to be the bottom. The best tape that I found to use for my bags is this Gorilla Tape. I'm going to put a link to this tape in the description of the video so you can get the exact kind of tape that I found works best for these bags. When I tape the edge of the bag, I always fold it over a little bit and leave a little bit of an overlap so that if the tape starts to separate a little bit from the bag, which it really doesn't do, but just in case, I don't want the sticky part of the tape to come in contact with the artwork inside and ruin it. So I fold over a little bit of the material and then tape it. That's another reason why it's good to give yourself a couple extra inches on the side longer than your artwork. These bags will protect your artwork while transporting or storing it, but you still want to be extra careful when transporting your artwork so that you don't damage it at all. Again, I tape the other side of the bag so that both of the side ends are taped together, making a big envelope. I find it best to always have the opening part be the longest edge. It makes it easier to put the artwork in and take it out. Now I've got my 24 by 64 protective envelope made and it's ready for the artwork. If I had a taller piece that I needed to put in the bag, I could cut another piece of Reflectix off, overlap this here, and tape the outside seam. We never want to tape the inside seam because we don't want the tape to ever come in contact with the artwork. So I could put another piece of Reflectix here, cut to length, tape the seam, and then I'd have an even taller bag. When it's all done and ready for the artwork, we can just pick the artwork up and slide it right into the envelope, just like this. It should fit perfectly. Easy to carry, easy to transport, and a great way to wrap your artwork to give it to a customer to take home with them. Thanks for watching. I really hope you learned something. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Also, let me know how you transport your large 2D artwork to and from art shows. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for other videos. Thanks again for watching. I'm Evan Reinheimer.